welcome back uh, the grow guys today we're going to be doing uh, beef stroganoff we're going to do a conventional cook to a certain degree as far as that we're going to uh, prep the sauce in the hotel pan uh, on the griddle so that way it's simmering uh, pretty basic ingredients we have about three cups uh, of beef stock we have about a cup of white wine a dry white wine like a pinot grigio is what we have right here some minced garlic a full onion about eight ounces of uh, mushroom. Because we're doing this relatively quick and we're not going to simmer it for an hour, we bought some decent steaks. So this is a uh, Angus uh, ribeye, and we're going to trim it up beforehand and slice it. So it's going to cook really quick. Uh, while we're doing that, we're going to put the flour in the hotel pan. Uh, about three tablespoons of uh, flour, about four tablespoons of butter. And that's going to brown, and then we're going to add our wets, which is going to be the beef stock, the wine. This is what's this year. We have a little paprika here, a little Dijon mustard to give a little kick, and uh, salt and pepper. Put it all together. We'll, uh, we'll try it out. Uh, we're going to do another video sometime of trying to do this all on the griddle, but we did some tests, and it seems like the, the uh, flour didn't really cook up well. It didn't cook up right, so it kind of gave it like a bitterness. Mm -hmm. So... So we're going to brown it. So we're going to brown it first. We're going to do it the brown right the way. Flour. Make a roux. Make a roux. We'll see it at the griddle. You cut the beef! <laughs> <laughs> We're at the griddle. Uh, we're going to start cooking the flour. We're making a roux. You start by just melting the butter and then mixing in the flour until it turns like a golden color. So that way you can know it's uh, cooked. That way you don't know, get that floury taste or bitter taste. Looking for a blonde. Blonde. coming along you can see the colors kind of turned from uh, full yellow to kind of getting a little brown um, or not brown but less yellow we'll let this go for like another five minutes cool yeah we're looking for just a little bit more just to cook the rawness out of the flour and then uh, we'll be ready to add the wet ingredients and this will be a nice thickener for them all right guys this has been on there for about four or five minutes as you can see, you're starting to get that blonde color right there. And that's the perfect time to start adding the other ingredients before the butter actually starts to burn. So we're going to throw in the wet ingredients. You got your whisk? I uh, get the whisk. You definitely want to whisk as you pour in so you don't get lumps. And this is the uh, beef stock. Tablespoons, what's the share? Uh, we got the heat on medium right now, I think, right? About a cup of white wine. Yeah. Yeah. Probably just no, the it. heat's on high, isn't it? No, it's on medium. Well, oh, crack it up to high. I want to bring it to a boil. Right Dijon mustard. That's where it's all at. And that's why. Look at that. Beauty. He can, he, he can wear that hat with pride. He paid $85,000 for that hat. Okay, so that's uh, thickened up. This is the uh, mid 30s in the garage. And it took a little longer than expected. We're probably at like 15 minutes now. Yeah, probably. For that to thicken up. So it's, it's not completely thick, but it's getting there. Yeah. So we're going to start everything else that's going to go in there. Take two. 
<laughs> well, we just ran out of gas, but it literally took a minute to replace it, get it back going. See that? Look at the size of that. <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time you had to refill this? Apparently Chris has pepper shaker envy. <laughs> 2009. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we get our sauce. Looks pretty good. It's got a nice little uh, rolling boil on the side. Our steak is... Got a nice sear on it. It's cooked, cooked, and even if it's not fully cooked, we're going to be putting it in the sauce, so it'll boil for a little bit, and that'll finish it off. Same thing with the, uh, the onions and mushrooms. So we're just going to combine this into the sauce, and then we'll clean off the griddle and uh, warm up the noodles a little bit before we mix it all together. So it looks, it smells really good. <laughs> it smells. Really good. And look at all the pans we're using to do this. Yeah. <laughs> you do have to dirty one pan. Yeah. You have to dirty one pan. So guys. Just, just like your kitchen, right? <laughs> this is good. Ah, but... Alright, so we're going to mix that up a little bit. Oh, man. That looks that yummy. Looks, uh, I'll have my plate now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we'll be back uh, once you throw the noodles on and get that warmed up. See you in a few. Alright guys, we're pretty much wrapping up. Gonna boil, throw a little oil down just to warm up the pasta. And we'll mix it. We should know this is cooked pasta. Cooked pasta. Yeah, we're just, this, is, this is just a take to put some warmth in the pasta before we mix it in with the uh, shallow cream. And the beef, if you there see the is. sauce sticking up nicely with the beef, yeah. this is all going to come together in a, a minute or two. So the noodles are nice and hot, the sauce is nice and hot. We're going to toss it all together now. We get the heat off on the griddle uh, because we're going to be adding the sour cream here. If we could get creme fresh, we would. Our market didn't have it. The sour cream can break, so that's why we're kind of pulling it off the heat. Um, we don't want too much heat on the sour cream. Taste test halfway through a plate. I've had several bites. It is very flavorful. I'm, temperature's perfect. The meat is excellent. Mushrooms good. With the little uh, green onions on top is delicious. The mushrooms I love. Good sauce. Very good. All came together. So very it was good. a uh, victory. You do Thumbs it again. Up. Thumbs up. Absolutely. Good All stuff. Right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe. Check out our other videos.